Today, we're in my kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to make powdered gnomies, also called snowballs. Now, they're actually one of my favorite Christmas cookies, but I'm going to be- Liar! Gingerbread man, what are you doing here? You're a liar. What? You, you told me I was your favorite Christmas cookie. Well, you are my favorite Christmas cookie. It's not Christmas though. Well. And these cookies are good at any time of year. Oh, am I still your favorite Christmas cookie? You're always going to be my favorite Christmas cookie. Yay! So, what do you want to do? I don't know. Do you want to be my cameraman? Well, I can try. Go for it. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, little oh. buttons. Oh. Let me. Just, uh, right. Yeah, good to go. Okay. okay, so our first step is to take the butter. We have one cup of butter and put it in the bowl. I did soften it a little bit, just for about 10 seconds in the microwave. And then our next step is to take our regular granulated sugar, and we only need um, one third of a cup. chopped nuts. These are actually optional. Um, I did buy them chopped and chop them a little more in the chopper, but you can crush them with a spoon or chop them with a knife or omit them entirely. Put those in there as well. And then you mix it all together. So I did pop this back in the microwave a little bit to soften the butter. Nothing smells better than sugar and butter. Okay, so we can go ahead and just set this aside for now. The next thing we do is take one and two thirds cups of flour. And we take just a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix that together. I just use an egg beater. Next, we combine the two mixtures. would be much easier with the hand feeder. How you doing over there, gingerbread man? Pretty good. Really getting the hang of this. It's not my first rodeo. You've been a cameraman before? 
Yeah, it's been a while. All right. So once this is all mixed up and it looks like dough, you actually put it in the uh, fridge for about 30 minutes. And the way I typically do it is I will take out plastic wrap. Alexa, stop music. Turn that back on later. And I will just put it all together in one big saran wrapped ball. in the fridge for 30 minutes. After we've chilled the dough in the fridge for 30 minutes, we're gonna take piece by piece out and roll them into about one inch balls. You can also roll them into long um, little pencils like that if you'd like, but I prefer to do it in circles because they're more like snowballs that way. Just like that. The recipe is supposed to bake about 32, but that does depend on how big or small you make these. Your pan is supposed to be ungreased. That is actually one thing I really like about this recipe is it doesn't call for any sort of grease or oil. Um, so just less ingredients mean you're more likely to have the ingredients on hand and you don't have to go to the store. It just happens to be more of a crumbly dough because of how much flour we use. And it actually doesn't taste very good right now if you were trying to lick it off of a beater um, or off of a spoon because the sugar comes later. Uh, we actually, once we form these, we will be rolling them in powdered sugar and cinnamon. And that is where the sweetness comes from. Now that we have a pan full, we are going to wrap that back up, set it aside, and we're going to put these in the oven for only five to 10 minutes, just until the dough sets, um, but it's not hard yet, so it actually will still be susceptible to the powdered sugar and the cinnamon that we're going to roll it in. So we'll put these in the oven five to ten minutes. Alexa, set timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Alexa, play Christmas music. Here's a station you might like. All of yeah. the favorites on Amazon Music. Playing first. It's beginning to look a lot I had these in for about eight minutes because ovens can vary. Um, so you do want to check them a few times. You'll know when it's time to take them out because the bottoms will be slightly brown, but uh, they will still be soft. So the next thing you'll want to do is mix together powdered sugar and cinnamon. And I've left these amounts totally open-ended because it's totally your preference. I ended up using probably almost a cup of powdered sugar and uh, probably three tablespoons of cinnamon, but again, totally your preference. 
Uh, I don't have a, a flour sifter or a powdered sugar sifter, so I just whisk them together with an egg beater. And then you take them, they're uh, 